Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing a manga called Claymore. And there's actually is an anime out for it, but the manga is a lot longer, so I'm just going to review the manga. Um, well, it's called Claymore, as I already mentioned. Um, this is the first volume, and the girl on the cover, her name's Claire. She's one of the main characters in the manga. There's 19 volumes currently out in any place that speaks um, English, and there's 21 in Japan. The author and the artist are Noshiro Yagi, and it's about the it's about this world where monsters exist called Yoma, and the Yoma terrorize humans and eat their flesh and hide in human-like bodies to trick the rest of the humans in like towns and villages and stuff like that. Well, it was getting to be problematic, so there was these people called the um, organization. They have no other name. The organization created half-breeds, half-human, half-yoma. There were humans, human women, men at first, but the men proved to not be good because they gave into temptation of awakening. And awakening is when they turn into a full blown out monster that's way more powerful than a regular Yoma. Um so the um the women are implanted with flesh of a Yoma and so they can hunt down the and so they can hunt down the Yoma in the town with their big swords called Claymore, hence the title being Claymore and then and then it centers around this girl named Claire on the cover. It centers around her finding a boy named Raki. R-A-K-I. I don't know if I say it right, but Raki. Let's just call him Raki. Raki. Um, so it centers around her and Raki. Raki's family was completely devoured by Yoma. And he tags along after her when she leaves his village because his village kicked him out because they thought he was a Yoma, because he, his brother was the Yoma that was hunting the town. So, after a while, she warms up to him, and they go town to town, destroying Yoma, and awakened beings that I was telling you about, the awakened warriors, they gave into the temptation. It didn't happen as much with the women as it did with the men before them, but it still happened. So, then there's a skip in the series, and it goes seven years ahead. So that's all I'm going to say because I don't like spoilers. And I am going to warn some people, though, and heed my warning. There is a lot of gore in this. So if you don't have a strong stomach, I don't advise it. Like like right here. Hold on. Give me a second. Really? Right here. She's cutting off her head, and then it falls to the ground, and then there's, like, an arm sticking out of her torso because she shoved it in there. And they could regrow back their limbs and stuff, but it's still not for anybody who doesn't have a strong stomach. So I highly advise you dooming... I highly advise you do start with something a little less uh, gory, a little more light, if you do want to read this, and you don't have such a strong stomach. But I suggest it for both women and men, both genders. It's a great, it's a great plot. There's no romance in it as of, as of now, but it's really good. It's from Shona Jump Advanced, and I do highly recommend the series. I went through it extremely fast, and I, I loved it. It was one of the first manga I've ever read. And I just decided to do a review over it. Because I liked it that much. So leave comments, requests. I would be happy to do a video on anything you'd want to know about. Any, and if you'd want some suggestions. If you've read this series. And you think I'd like another one. I'd be open to them. So thanks very much for watching. And I hope I helped.